Okay, listen, there are two things embarrassment can cost you, okay? Number one being your peace of mind, because that shit will linger. And number two, and most importantly, if you are not careful, your job. I'm turning 30, and for the next 30 days until my birthday, I'm going to be telling you something embarrassing I did that almost got me fired. I've been plagued my whole life with assholes for bosses, okay? And to my surprise, the last job I had, my boss was super kind, okay? And the only dangly piece of shit was me. During the holidays, my boss planned like a very nice Christmas party, which involved an overnight stay in San Diego. Aware to most people, that sounds amazing, okay? But for me, that is literally a living nightmare. It's one thing to be at work and be paid to be with your coworkers, but now I gotta have a slumber party after hours without being able to call my mom to pick me up against my will? You think Will likes that shit? I'm not a sociopath, all right? I'm obviously gonna go to the party and stay overnight. However, this man did not want the good times to stop rolling, okay? Because the next day, he wanted us to wake up bright and early, go to brunch, and then afternoon, do a Christmas scavenger hunt. Sir, when I worked for you, I didn't even go to the bathroom for free, okay? I made sure that was on the clock. And now you expect me to find shit for free? No. But let's not forget, I'm a conniving piece of shit, okay? I had a plan. I was gonna tell him that the flight that I actually had on Monday to New Jersey for the holidays was actually on Sunday, which darn, I'm not gonna make it to all these marvelous events. The night of the party came and I went up to each one of my coworkers telling them the same thing. I'm leaving tomorrow night, I'm leaving tomorrow night, and thank God I contoured the shit out of my nose because bitch, that shit would have grown three times its size the way I was lying up and down. I'm talking to my boss and I'm like, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry that I won't be able to go to tomorrow's events. I have an overnight flight to New Jersey. I, I can't miss it. I tell you, that I almost vomited on this man for the words that came out of his mouth. I mean, no way! We could have been on the same flight because I'm actually going to New York on Monday and I'm taking an overnight flight into New Jersey. Never in my life have I ever felt like a blonde white boy from Detroit because when I tell you my knees, bitch, they were spaghetti and my hands were sweaty. I was so mortified. I spent the entire night on the phone with United Airlines trying to see if I could get on a different flight. Do you know what being on the phone with an airline company for that long does to a person? Okay, there's not many things worse than a plane crash, but I'd sooner go down than ever have to repeat my confirmation code for the seventh time being like, A is for attention and I is for I will end you if you don't help me. Because I didn't have just like a thousand dollars to just spit out because my boss is nice, but not that nice, okay? I had to keep my flight. Since I didn't want to lose my job, I deadass showed up in a disguise. I was at the airport at 7 p.m. with sunglasses on. I drew on a little mustache, which wasn't that hard because I hadn't gotten waxed in a few weeks, and a mask over just in case. And I also threw up my hair in a little bun and put a beanie over me. I realized I never saw my boss at the airport or even on the airplane but i thought okay he's probably in first class because the richer get richer and the poor sit so far back that we're basically sitting on the toilet come to find out that when i land he had texted me that he'd never made it onto the flight because he got food poisoning from the christmas party did all of that to almost end up on an fbi's most wanted list okay bitch surely from fighting with airlines customer service and then showing up to the airport looking like a january sixer